hard this is the bell. A large town, people are standing and talking. They can hear a song like a church bell. The evening bell is the sound. The sound is setting. I think shark in the still forest. Yes, probably. I wonder if there is a church out in the wood. The bell has a tongue that is so sweet. Let us stroll there and examine the matter. People from the town go to the forest, sit down aboard of willow. Two confectionaries from the town stay at their boat. People come back to the town and they talk. <laughs> There was so romantic and a quite a different of picnic. Uh, yes, it's true, it was wonderful. Free as and went to the end of the forest, and we always had the wonderful sound of the bell. But it seemed to us as if it was coming from the town. I will write a poem about it. The bell sound the light, the voice of her mother. To a good they are child and no melody uh, was sweeter than the tones of the bell. I am your king. Listen to me. Who can discover where is the song from? Come should have a little your universal bell ringer, even if it is not really a bell. Many people go to the wood. One of the persons we turn a short of explanation, but nobody goes for enough. The song comes from a very large hole in a hollow tree, a sort of a learned hole that continually knocks its heat against the branches. But where the sound comes from its heat or from the hollow tree, then I can say with certainty. On confirmation day, the clergyman speaks to the children. The sun is shining gloriously. The children that were confirmed go out to the town. They follow the ringing tone, except free. I have gone to home to try on a ball dress, for it's just the, the ball on the dress, uh, which causes me to be confirmed I can go with you. I'm a poor boy and I borrow my coat and boots to be confirmed to the, from the keeper's son. I have to give them back. I can't go to the forest. I never go to a strange place if my parents aren't with me. I have always been a good boy so far. It is still big enough. That is what's confusing. <laughs> the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the children sing too, and they hold hands. Two youngest children, some grown, tired, and they return to the town. Two little girls sit down on the twinner garden so they don't go enter. They other reach the willow three words the confectionaries are. Now we are here in raising the bed doesn't exist. It's only a fancy that people have taken into their heads. That surely can be the bed. We must go and see it. The children go further in the forest. There is a little house made of branches of the bark of trees. A large apple tree bends over it. On the roof there are blooming rose. The long stem twine run to the cliff or with their horns a small bell. Everybody is sure that this is the bell except one, the king's son. This is, is the bell. This is the bell. Yes, you must be right. No, the bell is too small and too fine to be here at a distance. 
and besides, its tones are very different. Then this bell called moves a human heart in so much a manner. He is the king's son. Such people always want to be wiser than everybody else. The king's son goes deeper into the forest for the sound of the bell. He falls in his knees. They let him go on alone. In the forest, he meets the poor boy who couldn't come because he had to go home and return his jacket and boots to the innkeeper's son. Now he's wearing wooden boots and a jacket that is too small. The sound is so deep and has a strange power. I had to come. Then can we go together? Let's go to the left where the hair is. I'm afraid and I, I'm come well so fast. Besides, I think the bell must be looking for to the right, for that the place where all sorts of beautiful things can be found. So there we shine on me. I must and will find the bell even here. I am obligated to go to the end of the world. what I am seeking. The sound is going down. At the night is coming. The dark, dark night is near. Yet perhaps I may be able once more to see the round red sun before it entirely disappears. I will climb at the high rock. The poor boy comes by a path to the right. They run towards each other and stay together hand in hand in the vast church of nature of poetry. Way over them is a sound. It is an invisible holy bell. Blessed spirits float around them and lift up their voice in a rejoicing hallelujah.